Here with some guidance are Dr. Michael Woodward, a.k.a. Dr. Woody, oh. an executive coach trained in organizational psychology. He's a professional coach and consultant. Dr. Woody is here. Career coach, Michael, Dr. Woody, Woodward. It's live with Regis and Kelly. So if you do want to land that new job this year, there are some things you don't want to do. Here to give us tips on how to properly put yourself out there is the author of The You Plan. Please welcome Dr. Michael Woodward. <laughs> You go by Dr. Woody. Companies aren't looking to train and develop young um, individuals. And that's where Dr. Woody comes in. There's no guarantee in life, and there's no guarantee you're going to get placed. Nearly three million people consider home their primary office, and these are not self-employed folks. Companies are doing what they can to find out as much about you, so you need to find out as much about them as you can also. The job market has and always will be about who you know. We all become victims of living in our own head. So the first don't is don't turn your Facebook page into a tabloid. You know, it's all about social networking. He joins us now. I'm a big believer of go not just Facebooking, but booking FaceTime. And make sure you project who you really are mm -hmm. versus who you rarely are. The statement you make is posted and it's of record and it's there indefinitely. Right. Leave off the weird nicknames <laughs> or the other bizarre stuff. I know, this is Dr. Woody saying this, right? <laughs> Instead of trying to anticipate the questions, know the points you want to get across and find a way to get those across no matter what they ask you. You have to first have a good, solid understanding of who you are and what you bring to the table. And they received Dr. Woody's message. You know, I think both of us just want to kind of take our careers into our own hands and see where that takes us. And it worked. Jennifer found a job at Victoria's Secrets, Pembroke Lakes, and Vanessa is at Aldo Accessories on Lincoln Road. We all have encountered our share of interesting, unique, and challenging personalities in the workplace. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. And if it's not a comfortable environment, if it's not a friendly, happy place, it's going to show. Research has shown that there are those among us that have a really high need for power. And once they get that power, that need continues to increase. It becomes like a drug. They just can't get away from it. Managers always want someone that's proactive, right? Their job is tough. Successful people are doers, and they put themselves in the right places. Mm -hmm. And they also, they relentlessly pursue passion. Remember, most people spend most of their waking hours working. It's no longer about chasing opportunities. It's about creating opportunities. How do I set a direction, set my goals, and then draw out an actual plan for finding a way to get there and make it happen? Start thinking more like an entrepreneur and look inward before looking outward.